I'm pretty sure you've seen this picture of the coronavirus, but what if I told you that's not its real name? COVID-19 is not a virus. COVID-19 is a disease that is caused by a virus. The full name of this virus is SARS-CoV-2. CoV means coronavirus. If you want to know what SARS and 2 mean, you'll find out pretty soon. This is what one virus particle of SARS-CoV-2 looks like. It looks kind of complicated, so let's start building it up. First, we have the virus's RNA. This RNA resembles the RNA in the SARS virus so much that this virus was named after it. The SARS virus is called SARS-CoV, which makes sense to call this virus SARS-CoV-2. It's like a second version of the SARS virus. The RNA needs some sort of protection, so surrounding it is a protein shell called a capsid. Together, the RNA and the capsid can be referred to as the nucleocapsid. Outside the nucleocapsid is an envelope made of lipids. Actually, our cell membranes are also made of lipids. Sticking out of the envelope are the virus's most prominent features, even more proteins. This is the envelope protein and this is the membrane protein. In this video, we will only talk about this protein, the spike protein. It's the famous red spike on this viral image of SARS-CoV-2. Get it? Viral? Because the image went viral and it's a virus. A tiny part of this spike is a receptor binding domain, or RBD for short. You can think of it as a key to a lock. The lock in this case would be a tiny protein that lies on the cell membrane of our lung cells called the ACE2 receptor. Once you inhale a particle of SARS-CoV-2, the RBD in the spike protein of the virus attaches to your ACE2 receptor on your lung cells, unlocking the gates of your cell membrane. It's as if the virus has a spare key to your cell membrane's door lock. It tricks your own cells into letting it in. As the virus is getting into the lung cell, the viral RNA is being released into the cytoplasm. The RNA then reaches a tiny protein-making factory in your cell called a ribosome. The ribosome reads the code on the viral RNA and follows instructions to make more of it. It produces more spike, envelope, membrane, and nucleocapsid proteins. Now that the parts of the virus are made, different organelles within your cell package these proteins into a convenient bundle which is about to be sent out of your cell. At this point though, the virus is missing its envelope. Remember when I said our cell membranes and viral envelopes are both made of lipids? This means that the virus can steal a part of your cell membrane. So technically, the viral envelope is derived from our cells. Now the virus and several other copies of it are out of the cell that just got infected. They move on to infecting more cells the same way, and the process repeats millions of times. It's funny to think how such small proteins can create a pandemic, since we're so used to looking at things from the large scale. This time, maybe if we looked a little closer, we can find the next breakthrough.